Good afternoon. My name is Ted Freeman. I am a private practice allergist, immunologist in San Antonio, Texas. My home clinic is the San Antonio Asthma and Allergy Clinic. I'm going to talk to you for a few minutes about don't rely on antihistamines as first-line treatment in severe allergic reactions. First thing I'd like to tell you, severe allergic reactions means anaphylaxis. It's the same thing as anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis is a multi-system organ syndrome. Okay? People that have anaphylaxis often start with cutaneous signs and symptoms, flushing, hives, angioedema. But more importantly, there's other organ systems that are involved. That includes the cardiopulmonary system, where you can have shortness of breath, wheezing, chest tightness, the cardiac system, where you can have hypotension and tachy uh, dysrhythmias, as well as the GI system, the CNS system, and other organ systems. The important thing is that these other organ systems can lead, can be so severe that people die from anaphylaxis. Antihistamines only treat the cutaneous symptoms. Therefore, when people are anaphylaxing, it's very important that they receive epinephrine. Epinephrine is the first line therapy for anaphylaxis. To highlight this issue, over the last few years, several patients, several children have died while at school because they didn't have epinephrine available. This was such a high profile issue that Congress passed and President Obama signed into law a recent bill to increase the availability of epinephrine in schools. It's still up to our state legislatures to endorse and activate this, but it's very important that our children and all of us have availability to epinephrine when we have anaphylaxis. And this supports this, our choosing wisely statement of not overusing antihistamines in severe allergic reactions.